let's take a look at this problem. We got the square root of x plus 5 is equal to 3. This is a radical equation. Our steps in solving a radical equation, first step is get a radical by itself, but do not create a fraction. Well, we got a radical by itself. There's nothing in front of it, there's nothing after it, we just got square root of something on this side. Our next step is to raise both sides to a power equal to the index. This is a square root. Normally our index is whatever number is in the slot. Since this is a square root, our index is 2. So we'll square both sides. Step 2. So we got square root of x plus 5 to the second power is equal to 3 to the second power. Now when your index matches the power you're raising it to, they cancel each other away, and we're left with x plus 5, and 3 squared is 9. Now step 3, if we have more radicals, go back to step number 1. We don't have any more. Step 4, solve for x. Well, if I take the 5 over, we get 9 minus 5 which gives us x is equal to 4. Now step 5 says to check your answers because you'll get uh, correct answers but sometimes you get false answers with this method. So if I put 4 back up here, 4 plus 5 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, so it checks. So x equals 4 is our answer.